so I got my got to be glue free spray and I sprayed that all over the front of my hairline after I put this stocking cap on and I made sure I blow dried it enough to make sure that it was dry so it would stick to my forehead yes I got a big forehead but whatever it is what it is <laughs> Okay, and now right here, you guys, I'm actually just taking some scissors and cutting a little hole so my ears can stick through so I can actually cut the stocking cap off. But I made sure I was very careful because I didn't want to actually rip the stocking cap. And I actually took some more of the Got To Be Glue free spray and just sprayed it on there just to make sure that it wasn't going to go anywhere and that the stocking cap wasn't going to go back after I cut the holes on the ears. Now I'm going to cut the stocking cap off the front of my forehead. And you make sure you be very careful doing this because you don't want to cut your hair. And I should have probably braided my hair, but I didn't feel like braiding my hair, you guys. So now I'm going to take my foundation and just put a little bit on the front to, to match my skin tone. Even though the stocking cap was kind of close to my skin tone, I wanted to make sure that it was, you know, blended very well. So now I'm putting the wig on just to see where I need to place it so I can glue it down. This rubber band you guys and make sure I've kind of put the hair back enough and put it in a ponytail and I took some got to be glued and sprayed it on there just to make sure it was really secure then I took this bold hold glue and it's bold hold active and I just put it around the stocking cap so my wig would actually lay down and make sure you put like a thin layer and you can put more than you know one layer but I only wanted to put one layer because I really don't want this wig to last that long because I don't know how it's gonna look you guys and I'm just taking my rat tail comb and just smoothing it out some because I don't want to touch it with my fingers and make sure you let that dry I didn't really let mine dry a while because I'm very impatient. So now I'm flipping the wig down and combing back the baby hair so they don't get stuck in the glue, but then kind of patting it down to make sure that the lace is sticking to the glue. Now I'm blow drying it to make sure it's gonna dry. Now I'm gonna get the scissors and cut around the hairline and I try not to cut it in a straight line because you don't really want that, that lace front look. Now I'm taking my scarf and I'm wrapping it around my head just to make sure that the lace is pressed in well against my skin and it's going to dry. I'm just spraying it with water you guys just to define the curls. And I didn't use any other products, the only other thing that I did use was the Isoplus Foaming Wrap Lotion. I put a 
a little of that in as well just to make sure that my curls stayed and made it look like I have that wet look. Now I'm brushing it out with my paddle brush. Now I'm gonna take my rag off, you guys. I need a, a edge, you know, little whatever you call it. <laughs> Taking my rag off just to see how it's looking, you guys. And it's actually looking pretty good. And I don't really know if I want a side part or if I want a middle part or what, but I'm gonna work with it a little bit just to see how it looks. So yeah guys, make sure you work with it enough. And then I also took the hot comb, well, to go through it and just flatten it out at the top to make sure it's flat and it doesn't have that wiggy look. And then I'm also gonna add some concealer in my part just to give it a more natural look. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. I hope you guys like it. Um, this is my first time. I'm not a stylist, none of that. I'm not a beautician. So I think I did pretty good for my first time. Yes, it's on here. It's not going nowhere. Um, but yeah, I think I did pretty good, y'all. I'm not really a baby hair fan, so I really didn't want baby hairs. But I think I did good, y'all, for my first time. So as always, you guys, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Make sure you like this video, comment, and let your girl know how she did, okay? And as always, don't forget to what? Come back, come back, come back. Bye, guys.